grade 8 math number 8.1a. This entire chapter 8 is about systems of linear equations and how to solve them. So this first one's investigating systems of equations. Well, what are they? A system of equations is a set of two or more equations that have the same variables. That's all. Two or more equations with the same variables. And a solution of a system of equations is an ordered pair, you know, x and y, that satisfies all the equations in the system at the same time, simultaneously. We can solve a system of equations by graphing. We find the ordered pair at the point where the graph, the lines, intersect, just like this, see? So where the, this line and this line intersect, that point right there where they cross, they crisscross, that's the solution of the system of equations. It's x and y as an ordered pair. That's our solution, okay? So we learned several ways to graph an equation in slope-intercept form. You remember our colorful y equals mx plus b. This is the y value. This is m is the slope. The x is the x value in the ordered pair. And the b is the y-intercept. It's where it hits the y-axis line. Well, we can use the slope, that m amount, and this y-intercept, this b, or we can find two points that satisfy the equation for x and y and connect them with a line. If we're told to graph this pair of equations together, well, this is a system of equations, it's two equations that have the same variables. So it could be two or more equations. So here's two, all right? And if it asks us, is two common negative one a solution for this first equation, see? y equals 3x minus 2, y equals 3x minus 2. Can this ordered pair, x and y, 2 and negative 1, be a solution for this equation? Well, we'll just plug the numbers in for x and y and find out. So the negative 1 is the y right here, and the 2 is the x that's right after the slope. We plug them in and look what we get. It's false. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2, that's 4. Negative 1 doesn't equal 4. So no, this is false. It's contradictory. It's not the solution. So 2, negative 1 is not the solution for this first one. Is it the solution for this next one, though, with the plus 3 as the y-intercept? All right, well, let's find out. So we're going to plug in the x value and the y value into our equation. So that means that it's negative 1 equals negative 2 times 2 plus 3. So. That means negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. We drop our plus 3 down, and we've got 1 equals negative 4 plus 3. Oh, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, so yeah. Negative 1 does equal yet negative 1. It's true. This ordered pair 2 comma negative 1 is a solution for this equation. Now, if we use a graph to explain whether 2 comma negative 1 is a solution of each equation, let's try graphing it. Now, we know that this red one is the y-intercept b. So that tells us, if we're going to graph this equation, that it's going to hit the y-axis at the negative 2. So here's the y-axis, right? That means that equation is going to hit it right here at the negative 2, OK? And it says that we have a 3 for our slope, so that we have a positive 3 for our slope. OK, so how do we get a positive 3? Do you remember? Positive slope goes this direction. So if this is our negative 2 right here, and we need a positive slope of 3, we're going to go over 1 and 1, 2, 3. That positive 3 slope is going to put us right here at 1, 1. See that? So that's going to be our first line. I can't guarantee I'm going to draw a really, really straight one, but I'll try. OK, that's pretty close, right? So that's, well, it's a little crooked there, but you get the idea, okay? So no, is it on the 2 comma negative 1? Well, here's 2 comma negative 1. So no, this line does not touch that point at all. So no, it's not a solution. Just like when we tried plugging it in, it wasn't a solution. It's not on the line, and we tried graphing it, it's not a solution. Now what about this one, that second one that said yes, it was? All right. We can see right away that our slope is a negative 2. You remember what happens when the slope is a negative? That means the line's going to go this way, all right? Remember that? Negative slope goes up that way. We talked about that before. And look, our y-intercept is at a 3. It's at a positive 3. So let's do a line going this way, 
okay, with our y-axis being hit at positive 3 with a negative 2 slope. So it's going to go down and over, okay? So if it hits at the positive 3, here's the x-axis, and here's positive 3. I mean on the y-axis, I'm sorry, this is the y-axis, and here's positive 3 on the y-axis. All right, now we need a negative 2 slope, so that means we're going to go 1, 2, and over 1. So we're at the same point, we're at 1, 1. See that? Now, this was our ordered pair that we thought would be the solution. That when we did the solution, it worked out. Remember, it worked out up here? That's that point. Well, if we draw a line connecting this one and this one, is it going to go through that line? Yeah, look at that. It does go through that line. See? So now we've graphed these equations. So did you see how I did that? I used the slope and I used the y-intercept to graph it. I knew where my y-intercepts were, and I knew my slope was a 3. So I went 1, 2, 3 positive, so it pushed me that way. And this one had a negative 2 slope, so I went down 2 so that my line would go this direction. And look at where they crisscrossed. So now our graph is like this, where they crisscrossed was at the 1, 1. See that? So the solution is the ordered pair where the points of the two lines intersect. X and Y is 1, 1. Now, is that point of intersection for the two lines a solution to both equations? Yeah, it is. 1, 1 is a solution to both of those equations. Let's check it out. Here's the first one with that negative 2 for the y-intercept and the 3 slope. If we plug in 1, 1 for x and y, that means 1 equals 3 times 1 minus 2. Well, 3 times 1 is 3. So that means 1 equals 3 minus 2. And yeah, look, 1 does equal 1, okay? Now for our second equation, the one we did up here, if we plug in 1, 1 for our x and y, we get 1 equals negative 2 times 1, which is a negative 2, plus 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 equals 1. Yeah, it worked out for both of them. So see, the solution is the ordered pair at where the points intersected, at 1, 1. See that? Oh, it helps to know that a negative slope heads up this way, or it falls to the right, and the positive slope rises to the right. That was our saying, right? Positive rises to the right and negative falls to the right, okay? So, oh, I hope this was helpful. I hope you folks are catching this. And to my granddaughter, I hope this is understandable. So we're going to keep moving on, and we're going to go to 8.1b. We're going to talk about this a little bit more, and we're going to keep studying systems of linear equations until we have it, okay? So stick with me. We'll get this, all right? Bye.